Um, my fall garden has had some challenges because I didn't realize that it was going to be this hot um, in October. So certain items that like cool weather, they're still growing, but they're not going to be as tender or sweet or palatable if it would go ahead and cool off. So I'm about to go ahead and start harvesting some things and planting some more things and trying to get rid of some of these pests and things that are trying to eat my garden up. I gotta find that snail that I found that was crawling up my grow bag. That was really gross and I actually used my finger even though I have gloves on and I knocked it off so I'm proud of myself because I think snails are pretty gross. But um, yeah. So today is Friday. It's actually nine o'clock, although it feels a lot earlier. I still have bags under my eyes, but I'm not really tired. I think it's just like the mental. I just need some rest and relaxation. And I also know I need to eat better because I have not been eating better. Um, I have been not. I have not been eating well. Just whatever I see, whatever I like, I just continue to eat it. So I do know that I need to do better with that. This is the first day that I have been able to come out since June and not get eaten up by mosquitoes. And let me tell you what is that factor. <clears throat> Off deep woods. I tried the little unscented little um, off and the mosquitoes bit through my jeans. They would bite me on my face. They, I would have bites all over my cheeks and my forehead. They would bite. It, it was just ridiculous. And I had to pretty much limit myself coming out in the garden. But now that it's cooled off, it's not quite as bad, although it's still bad. And I've been out here for 45 minutes and I have not been eaten one time. So this is pretty great. And so it's Friday, the first day for teachers on their fall break. And I have teacher bags under my eyes and <clears throat> this is actually a filter. So while I'm out here in the cool of the morning, sometimes I do like to reflect and think. And guess what, during this pandemic, I wanted to do all of these things and I was gonna learn all of these new things and blah, 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 blah. And guess what? I learned zero, zero. Mm -hmm. The only thing I really did was, well, I gardened, but I ate. I tell you, I ate and ate and ate until I had to buy new clothes. But I guess the buck stops here because I'm really tired of saying, well, if you don't like it, then don't look. I'm gonna start working out, but I'm glad it's cooling off because I'm not taking myself in the gym yet. I don't feel comfortable with that. I'm going to start walking so I can get a little bit of this weight off of me. And I can clear my skin up. My skin is um, not looking as healthy, as vibrant, or as smooth. I got to do something about that too. So I have um, red mustard here. And even though the plants are pretty small, I'm thinking about going ahead and pick them and plant again, just because red mustard tends to be kind of bitter. And I don't want it to get to the point where we can't even eat it because it's so bitter. Right here on the back porch, I have another planting of red mustard. And unfortunately, I have had some what is this? There's some kind of, oh, I see them. There's some kind of caterpillar. They look like um, army worms that have been munching on my red mustard. Yeah, I'm gonna pick all of this and see how we can cook it today and replant it. And by the time it grows again, hopefully the caterpillars won't be out here to eat it up. You know, like lately I've been really, really busy for work, so I have not been able to come out here like I want to. And once I came out here, I realized that insects have been having a virtual buffet in my garden. But here's some good points in my uh, green stock garden. 
all of these lettuces and this is butter crunch lettuce all of these were grown from seeds so I'm really um, happy about that I've got some there got some good lettuces here there's some Swiss chard I've actually never eaten Swiss chard uh, I have collard greens growing here I have um, spinach growing here oh and these are beets I transplanted these so these are beets more beets over here now one thing I do have to do better is I really need to label my plants so that I don't have to try to identify them by how they look because I'm not there yet but I don't remember what this is maybe it's spinach maybe it's something else I don't know but over here in the sun this is lemongrass now this is the basil and this is the lemongrass it's kind of amazing how big it's gotten because um, insects had really started eating it up and I cut it almost down to the soil level and it started growing back and now I need to um, get some recipes so that I can use it uh, here are some turnips yeah these are turnips and insects have been attacking them too and that's one thing about not coming out to your garden often enough so that's what happened here and we have some rutabagas these haven't been oh there is a big snail look at this oh my goodness there's a snail well it's not big it's big to me but there's a snail and if you allow snails ugh, 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 it's disgusting if you allow snails <laughs> I gotta get something to get that off because I am not touching it even though I have gloves. Well, maybe I will. I'll be brave. Come on, get off. So I'm gonna come back and move that snail. Uh, <clears throat> snails and slugs will be the bane of your garden if you do not control them. Here I have some mucilin and man, it has been getting eaten up. I really need to do better at coming out here and over here I have some endive, which I have not spaced the things out very well, but I'm gonna do better, I'm gonna do better. Here I have carrots, and when I was watering them, I didn't realize that I was kind of pooling all the seeds in the middle, so I'm probably gonna transplant them after I harvest some of my other vegetables. My sad little um, tomato plant, it's got blight. It's got broken uh, branches, but it just started sprouting new flowers like it wanted to grow some more tomatoes so I'm just gonna see what it's gonna do I have one awesome one here then I have another one it's been kind of beat up but we're gonna see what happens I don't think anything burrowed inside of it and we have one here I think I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut it off because the uh, branch was broken so I'm pretty sure it's not getting any more nutrients or support from the plant but we'll see Okay, I think I have Swiss chard over here. My bok choy, which is a Chinese cabbage, is being eaten up probably again. Ooh, there's a frog. You see that frog? Yeah, all kinds of stuff over here. Uh, it's probably being eaten up by the army worms. And I think this is kohlrabi, but I'm not sure because I did not label my plants. Oh yeah, I see the army worms under the leaves. Uh, okay, so I have more bok choy over there. I have um, Vidalia onions. I have, ooh, let's look at the celery. I have some celery over here. So this right here is celery, and yes, I know that there's not enough room to grow it. I've never grown celery before, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Here's my cabbage, regular cabbage. Some of this stuff, I just don't know what it is. Gotta do a better job. Here's some oregano. And what did I put over here? It's probably turnips. Uh, some kind of brassica, and as you can see, it's 
not doing very well because of the bugs. Uh, here's my radish. You can see it's starting to form, however. It's been so hot, probably won't eat it because it's gonna be too spicy. More lettuce. I wonder if these are collards. All my other collard seeds would not germinate. I think they were too old, but we'll see. So this is my first fall garden. I know it kind of looks like a mess because I didn't um, spread anything out, but this is my first time and it will get better. Uh, right here I have, what kind of collard greens are these? Um, I think they're Georgia Southern collard greens. I'm not sure. I don't remember the packet, but I have a few weeds. Um, I put the seeds, I put two seeds per hole so that if one didn't grow, I know that um, I would have a plant there just to um, up my germination rate. But it looks like almost all of the seeds have sprouted. And I can't wait till they get big enough to eat. So I'm using my Snapchat filter because I didn't want to scare anybody because I really need some rest. But I just popped up this morning and I decided to come out in the garden and I can have some mindfulness and some wakeful restlessness. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. I have some mindfulness and some wakeful... <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. But I can just be um, just kind of calm. I don't really have to think about doing much. Just work out in the garden. So the neighborhood dogs, I'm surprised they're not trying to uh, bite through the gate to get to me and my little dog is over there.